Francisco. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael O'Donnell, I'm the founder of The Final Step, and welcome tonight. I'm glad to have you all here. Um, the Final Step, what is it? Well, it's an organization that was trademarked this year right, with the needs-based method. And what makes us different from most programs is the fact that we are focusing on the human condition. All right? The human condition to us is this. Why do people believe, think, and behave the way they do? All right? Why do we make the decisions we make? Why do we act the way we do? And why do we, oh, what's another word to say this? Think the way we do. Okay? So what we're trying to do is to gain some understanding with this. All right, so we're going to look at it in a threefold manner. We're going to look at we're going to look at belief systems. We're going to look at value systems. We're going to look at how that affects you and how you see the world. We're going to look at um, thinking styles. Okay, we're also going to look at the way people communicate, uh, how to get certain needs met, and. We're going, to make a, we're going to put all this together to understand the human condition in sort of a three-dimensional manner. All right? This will give the individual answers on how they can change and shift what they do. Okay? So there's going to be some awareness around that. There's going to be some understanding. We're going to get some acceptance because there's no need to beat yourself up for what you did. Just understand why you did it so you can make the shift, which is the next step, the value shift. When we see something that we want to change, there's the information you're going to get from us allow you just to do something different than you did before. So there's, a, there's another component to that called it's like awakening. You're awake now. Now you know. So when the situation arises, do you do the same thing you did before? Or now that you know it and you're conscious of it, do you do something different? All right? So once you have the shift, now you're going to have the belief. Believing in what you're doing, applying it, and the last but not least, to transform yourself to a different human being. All right? The person you always wanted to be. But for whatever reasons, Things were slowing you down. Information in the back of your head was allowing you to, so we say, not move in the direction you'd like because it was holding you back because it was a thing that we call spells and curses. That's another thing we can look at. What did someone say to you that affects you and allows you to, say, freeze or not move, okay? In my line of work, I've noticed that one line that a parent has told a child can affect what a child does for the rest of his life. For example, you will never amount to anything. That's a big one. Can you imagine a parent telling you you'll never amount to anything? So the child takes that information, holds on to it, and does his best in his world to survive and to do what he can to uphold the image of that statement. Hoping the caretaker will one day validate him, but it never comes. Okay? And that one remark freezes them, hence the word sabotage. So what happens is the person can go up the hill, go up the hill, go up the hill, accomplish something because that one line says you're never good enough, boom, they come back. Because that's always in the back of the head. They don't believe they deserve it. They don't believe they're worthy of it. And because that one guy who has the most influence on them told them that, they believe the hype and they never accomplish anything. And so their world is a constant, constant, you know, vicious cycle of sabotage. Okay? So those are some of the things we're going to talk about tonight. All right? But the, so our first topic tonight will be brain dominance. And we'll get to you that in one minute. Let's take a break, everybody. Okay? Thanks, Bob.